Hey guys, and you might notice a little something different here, and uh, looks like a new world, and this is Tekkit. Um, this ain't going to interfere with my other Let's Play, but uh, I figure I spun up another server, rented another server, and I put Tekkit on it. And uh, we got it working, and so that's pretty much uh, what we're doing here. And, uh, FL Tom is uh, is the only other one on the server right now. It's a, a small server for right now until we get things going. But uh, yeah, we just started, and um, I'm not gonna bore you to death with all the starting because you know you've seen that with everybody else. So um, I am just going to, once we get uh, a little bit established and once we start building up things, uh, I will jump back on here. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm just making a thing here. All right. So I just went into the Nether and grabbed uh, some glowstone because we're gonna make a fluff for stone. So I'm back with all this. We've done quite a bit of work. Uh, didn't want to bore you with all the the basic building stuff, so I'll just uh, show you what we've done. Oh, let me sleep before he comes out of the Nether, so we can uh, get some daylight going for the solar panel. All right, uh, so yeah, we got the basic machines. Macerator, generator, which we don't use anymore, the extractor, and oop, electric furnace. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And fuck that up. So we got the solar panel, the bat box behind it doing its whole thing. Um, got our little setups here. Uh, one of the first things we did make was a condenser box and. Yeah, we're feeding it with cobblestone generator. So we're letting it roll with it. Uh, you can see how fast it's going up for right now until we get uh, other stuff done. So that is where I am at right now. There's all our resources that we've got, and once we get to actually doing a little bit more stuff other than the basic crafting stuff to get set up uh, yeah if you've never seen one of these crafting stations which I haven't but it will make anything that's in your inventory <laughs> so if I wanted to make 16 scaffolds I guess it uses this wood to do that so it's kinda inter interesting but uh, you know uh, like I'll like make a chest so if you click on it, it took everything needed for that chest and it put it here. This is like a inventory slot, like a chest. So I just take it and put it here and I've got it. So, alright, I will see you in a little bit. Alright, <clears throat> so apparently um, I had some video recording issues. So there's a lot of footage that uh, did not get recorded so I'm gonna adjust my mic here um, so I set up a quarry um, we just wanted to get a quarry going which it is currently not running so let me run down here and see what the dealio is <clears> throat's a little scratchy today so um, maybe it's out of lava. It is. So, let's go ahead and remedy this issue. Da -da -dum -dum. Put that in there. Put that in there. Um, this pump was, but uh, when I was making the nether porter, I screwed up and water came down here and poured in here. So basically, I'm just scooping this out with buckets right now for the uh, 
to the quarry. It doesn't really look that deep, so it wouldn't have done any good to actually set up the uh, the pump here because um, it wouldn't have got much. But I might, since I already got the pump set up, I might just go ahead and uh, and pump some out into a uh, tank. Which I've got glass, so let's this let's just go ahead and make a tank then. And let's make three tanks. And let's just put it right here. Um I need my Yeah, that wouldn't work. <laughs> So I can have a, just a straight jump in the shot over here. We're probably we're going to flatten out this land, and we're going to create a uh, an industrial building, not just for industrial craft, but it's going to be the big building. Oh yeah, so uh, new update FL Time has used a design. I don't know uh, which it came from, but what it does is uses a deployer and milks cow. When it milks the cow, it gets filtered to the energy condenser, which um, the milk will be sold with the bucket, but then we got a bucket in here, so it really buys the bucket back. So once it fills up, he uses a filter to send the empty bucket back to the original deployer. Well, when the dispenser fills up because of the filter, it will, there you go, you saw the full milk because it couldn't fit into the energy condenser. So it will go right into the main energy condenser. <clears throat> and we extended this again by another seven, I think. Yeah. Uh, so and he said the design well basically we did this to get things working to make sure it still works because uh, I don't know how long that video was that he saw that had this set up but the idea is to put a de the deployer here 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 and here so really there's four more deployers we could put and we I calculated it it's like every 20 seconds there's a uh, bucket of milk coming through here and right now we have a great number, a good number of diamonds. You can see how fast it goes up. So let's put these over here. Um, we've got a transmute table. And, uh, I'm always sticking stuff in there to make sure that it's learned. Uh, is it last? Yep. Uh, can a tree tap go in there? No. <laughs> oh, stick it go in there, won't it? Oh, it's already in there. And you kind of see the EMC value. It's the same EMC value as what everything's being sold here. So the cobblestone, um, if you look, is EMC 1. So. I need some more steak, so steaks are sixty four. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Oh yeah, that's and if it was learning something it would say learning down here. Um do I have anything I haven't stuck in here yet? Um let's see, do we put a lapis? We'll try that. <coughs> Um, I don't know if a wooden cog will work. Let's just do that just for. No. And that was already in there. That's 864. It's not a bad value. And let's go ahead and add that. 
put this back in here. So this crafting three, I kind of got a little bit more experience with it. So really, it will instead of making each individual part, basically this crafting table will do this for you. So let's say if you had to make a piston before you make a transposer. So let's say trans. Uh, there, there it goes. So transposer, that's how you make it. So you got to have the piston, you got to have all this stuff. Well, you don't have to have it. You just have to have the items that makes all the way up to it. And you can see, actually, you can see it right here. I didn't see it. If you see on the left side, I can't move the screen. It tells you everything it has to have to make the transposer. Well, everything that makes the piston. So it, it actually makes the piston first. Well, it doesn't. If I click on this, it's going to instantly make it. So, um, tank cart. I was really thinking about using these uh, to. wheel up the lava that you saw me set up back there which reminds me I need to wooden oh that's transport so wooden waterproof and stone waterproof let's uh, go ahead and get back down here and start this uh, lava going I also want to experiment with the lava fabricator that I saw in here. Lava. This lava fabricator. So I'm probably going to check out the wiki. I'm not very experienced with uh, the tech and stuff yet. So um, <clears throat> if you saw one of my earlier Let's Play videos, you saw where we used to have our main server. It used to be full of mods, but it was just too difficult to keep up with. Well, I spun up this small server just so that we still can come in and mess with these new types of technology, I should say. So, I, I do have the mobs turned off because I didn't want to have to fight with the mobs just to, uh, well, how did my inventory get sorted out like that? Didn't want to have to fight with the mobs and everything so let's go ahead and do I need this or does it automatically come out I can't remember so let's just uh, go ahead and so if I go there it's gonna stick to it I wanna go from the top there we go so Let's turn on and see. I think it automatically I don't have to have a wooden pipe there to pull it out. So here it goes. I don't think it does anything. I think it has to be warmed up before it does anything. So let's go ahead and just turn all those on. Maybe it has enough power to pull something. It's like watching paint dry, trying to figure out if this thing's in the. I think they have to warm up before it pulls anything, so it's not just like the the steam engine where it just goes bam go. Um, so this might be the fuel area over here. Um, I did find a uh, oil which doesn't show my waypoint. Oh no. My waypoints didn't save somehow. Um, anyway, there, there's a oil. I think it was uh, 200 and something blocks away this direction. So yeah <laughs> which is funny I ran like 800 blocks this way to get some sapling trees I mean saps for rubber trees and stuff so we can have a um, resin which now that we have the condenser you know we really don't need these trees and all I could have done was come over here <laughs> I ran 800 some blocks away to the west 
to find a swamp when there was these trees over here. I saw them last night. Uh, don't make a liar out of me because I know I saw you when I was running through here. Yep, there it is. So, and you can probably see another one off in the distance there. Alright, so that's pretty much where I'm at. I don't know how people feel about when I don't have a whole lot of commentary when I'm trying to think of what I'm building, but some videos that I watch, I do like, oh, there it is. Not the phone, but the uh, the lava. So yeah, it does have to warm up a little bit for it. Um, like talking when I'm doing stuff. I would I would like to record me just building stuff, but I don't want people to say you suck at commentary when the commentary part's not what I'm looking at. The uh, uh so, so it's I will talk some commentary, but. Um, like when I'm just building, I'm just kind of talking to myself, I should say. Be like, oh, well, uh, see, I gotta make this, make this. Or if FL Time or one of the other guys jumps onto the server. Oh, actually, I know what to do. This will actually learn in the transmute table unless FL Time's already done it. Um, so, so I might just keep the recording going and I just want to get pinions. I know the mic, I'm using my laptop now, as, as I've said in other videos, I'm using my laptop now to record my videos, it has got this, this sound to it, and I don't want to pull my turtle beach in here, so soon I'm going to purchase, what the, the heck was that going at? Um, hmm. what? That don't make any sense. It's so green, or I should say blue and white. Oops. Can't do that. Blue and white. Blue and white. They don't have any. Maybe it's a visual bug. Anyway, uh, let's see if this has been learned in the table. It has. Darn it. Just when I think... Shut up. Just when I think... Uh, it has a 16 value. So I'm just going to throw it in there. Just burn it. Burn it. We have a repair table. So if you stick something in here that needs repairing, it will repair it. So that is a talisman of repair. So if I stick this in here see the numbers well actually that was pretty quick so uh, let's put this see the numbers go down because <clears throat> each little colon whatever means uh, when you make a sword or make an item it has that particular property to it so see I thought that was uh, pretty cool so I'm going to actually I'm going to get rid of these things and I'm going to make Mike I am going to make diamonds S items so the pick was already in there so I'm not going to make a pick so I'm going to make a sword an axe and a shovel and I'll just take and launch these into the abyss <laughs> see let's put this back over here yeah I think I might make a separate chest for pipes yeah once you get a lot of stuff and put them into the condensers it's, it just goes crazy I put a cactus in there and the thing just practically filled up with with things so and because there's the pickaxe so I'm going to show you all this. You notice I only have two sticks? Well, there. by the way, when you first open it, it's something. It, it Sometimes it might load, but if you drag, grab this and do this, it'll drag down and open it up. So, <clears throat> let's, uh, we don't need a sword. Well, yeah, we do need a sword because mobs are about to be turned on. 
So we need a X. Uh, hello. The only thing is when you click something and you don't know if it worked, you might as well close it and come back because you don't know if it uh, if it was a bug when you clicked it. So, so clicked it, it created X, and you notice that the sticks are gone. Well, now notice that I don't have any sticks, but I'm going to make a shovel. Bink. See where it put the sticks? Because it took the when you use two pieces of wood, it makes four pieces of stick. So, and I need a sword. And voila. And you basically just leave this stuff in here. I made that earlier just goofing around. We really don't need the lapis in there. So, and like I said, if anybody looks at this, they well, they all have they all share this middle part. This is just like a chest, a community chest, I should say. So, I will put this in here. So there's no repair needed on it, but um, well, actually, we should just keep our own personal items now. I mean, we got so much item generation that is pretty crazy. So I'm just gonna leave that in our sense files. Our FL time created that. Sorry. And I need some food. Food here. Give me a piece of raw beef. I'll remedy this pretty quick. Steak. So let's just go in here and oh, <laughs> you put a steak in and get a steak out. Yay! So I just need to really feed it with something. Um, feed it with what? Oh, I don't know what to feed it with. Oh, 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 oh. Get out of there. So these buckets are always filling up, no matter what. So if I take a few buckets out, you'll see that it will generate buckets when it gets to the top here. And right here, pink. So once it fills up these spots, so I'm going to keep, yeah, so I'm going to keep the two buckets there, and I'm going to sell it to the transmute table. What the heck was that? What is that noise? <laughs> is that the... Oh, well, I didn't notice that before. <laughs> okay, so when you want to just keep EMC, like I could do this and then, uh, like, let's say, as you see that stone's not in there and I wanted to get stone, I put stone in there so it does the search. But right now it just does whatever random. And if I did that, you know, I could click a million times and get uh, the beef, since the beef is right here. But I'm going to put it in here, which automatically adds it to, to the EMC value here. So I don't have to actually keep putting an item here. So from here, I'll just... Uh, there's no right click or left click or maybe... Uh, what the heck the middle click do? Oh, is middle click sort? Embarrassing. Okay. So, I'm just going to... Ooh. Did I just buy some... Yeah, so... That flipped on me. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep the 21. And, you know... Really didn't have to... Go slaughter. <laughs> but, uh... Now that it's filled up, you can see the the buckets of milk coming in. Everything's still being generated, so yeah.
So we're pretty much set for right now items and the next thing I'm going to work on is power. We've been th I've been thinking of a nuclear reactor. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm not experienced with a nuclear reactor and I know that it will totally destroy an area if you screw up. So <clears throat> that I'm not 100% sure I might make some more solo panels there's other other things uh, we don't have uh, yeah, I need to look at the wiki I might look at the wiki and then come back because we do have oil that's over there I need to get it over here put it into a machine that generates power I guess and then use that as a power that lava is not really going to uh, stay around very long so let's go ahead and connect it nope. let's go ahead and click some more resin here as we have these little orange spots means it is ready for collection the only thing it bites is you have to run around the uh, tree. <laughs> so I might look at uh, a way to... I don't think you can automate this. But I might look at a way to... run around the tree faster. Um, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> I had the, uh, the cable for my headset was behind the laptop and I tried grabbing it real quick so I can uh, mute it so I could sneeze and I could give a headset off quick enough so I do apologize for that and really this thing is just sitting on the side of here I don't want that there I mean really <laughs> I'll probably, I'm going to probably flatten this out anyway I build a filler. Um, this is really on the side too. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this. And this one too. It's, yes. All right. So here, here's another thing. If you didn't know, like I could tap this and get the resin, but when I break it, oh, well, you saw it down. You saw it in here that um, I did collect some. So there's two ways to collect the resin, but the preferred way is to just tap the tree with the tree tap. And every, I guess, two to five Minecraft days, it will develop the resin back on the tree. So you can just run over, and it looks like each one does separately, so depending on how long you wait for it. And you just go and do that. I know this has probably been discussed in other videos, but sorry. And I think that's it. I saw one over here. And we'll repair the axe and You'll see this go back pretty quick, faster than you probably will the axe, maybe? Yeah, so the axe has 21 to go. And tree taps repaired. It looks like a stick of dynamite on it. It's got the little string. Couple of fall off a system, and that's repaired. <clears throat> I'm going to make a. Not to, oh, here we go. An axe. Oh, someone already had it in there. Shovel. Uh, sword. Mm. Here. Stone in there? Yep. Well, I guess there ain't too many items I could put in there that uh, FL time is put in there and learned already so 
let's go ahead and oh shift click don't work on well, electric furnace let's go ahead and do the extractor and also FL time told me that in the config file industrial craft config file you can actually turn off the sound so I think I might do that uh, looks like overcast and I'm asleep some uh, one lonely little solar panel there will just keep up so it's time to upgrade the energy in here we picked up a few more coal let's just go ahead and grab these diamonds here oh yeah so I forgot I was going to make a pick didn't I and right there all right, come on. All right, I clicked it like twice. It didn't do anything, so close it, bring it back up, and yes. Yeah, so Houston, we have. Oh wait, I wonder if this causes a problem. Nope. Let's. Well, that's just weird. It's kind of just ever since we've made this thing, it don't like me. So okay, well, let's make sticks. Let's see if that might be the problem, because it really should do the sticks, but it could be the code for this one is not set up right. Look at this. Uh, you kind of notice what it's trying to do over there? It's over here. That ain't right. Why is it trying to use covalence dust? Has it always been trying to do that? Okay, I'm just baffled. I'm just going to make the stupid thing. Demons down there. We did have like eight uranium ore, and that's what we used to generate a lot of the buckets. So, oh yeah, <clears throat> one thing I didn't know actually existed was this thing right here. This is called in uh, yeah energy. It's a energy collector, which we could probably make another one and do something else with it, but uh, it was kind of expensive, I guess, for that. Anyway, you, you make that, and you put it right beside a energy collector, or energy condenser, and it uses solar power, but then if you put glowstone, it increases it. So I might actually move that, I don't know, uh, where could we move it, or just leave it, or just create another box here, and put it somewhere. I don't know. So, I might actually start to work on live streams, because maybe live streams work out good when I'm confused at what I want to work on right now. And I saw this stuff working. Oh, that didn't. I probably just had a gap. Let's see if it's drained. Yep. So it's drained. Drain that. Let's let's break that. See if it pulls anything. I doubt it. Probably has to hit a source. Well, actually, it should pull them within a block distance, the source. So as long as it's touching that, it 
it should pull in these black sources so yep we'll let that continue let's check out brackets here could use a little refillage and put it in here so um So I'll be back once I learn a little bit more stuff on the wiki and what I want to build so we don't destroy the world. Because I know if I build a nuclear reactor, this thing will <laughs> it will mess up. And it will put a deep hole somewhere. So if I build one, it's going to be away from this area from a quite little distance. So, alrighty. See you guys later. Alright folks, I'm back. Uh didn't want to share that yet. Um, I'm probably going to end this episode. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work here. Um, and if you want to see some information for stuff, then basically everything I've, uh, that we've made is off the net. So I'm making an energy flower. Um, I built the first petal, and that one generated diamonds. And I am working on the second petal. Um, this com this design is from uh, there's a YouTube video from a YouTuber by the name of uh, let me get to it it is the A G G Y Y U and if you just look up um, energy condenser energy collector equivalent exchange it's basically the first page you go to equivalent exchange and it shows you the picture of the pedal um, the guy does like the first little part here and then the easy way is if you go to one and then start building this one then you'll have it so once I get another gazillion diamonds because it takes so many diamonds I actually forgot the amount that it takes but it's 10 diamonds for every energy collector and uh, antimatter array so once I start generating those I will build this one up and then I'll build that one up and that will be the complete flower and this should be doing pretty good once that's done I'm going to go down here and start replacing the Mark 1's with Mark 2's of these and that will start generating more and more power I don't know if these turning a certain way affects anything or not so I'm kinda just letting it fly because I don't know because over here you know they're pointing out or if they're supposed to be pointing in I don't know I really don't know the the layout so I just slapped them down the way I wanted to well the way I could so so I've been doing that. Um, we're doing this using a filler. We're laying out some flat land here. Um, I actually got to run over here and collect some. I actually created the the whole black hole ring, but it wasn't. I don't know. To me, it wasn't like what I thought it was. I thought it would pull in a big section to you, but I guess not. But anyway. Uh, we're clearing this out, and this is where we're going to build a base. Um, we're looking at probably building a building through here. Um, and then we could turn the mobs on and then not have to worry about having things being blown up. But then in the building, we're going to have all the specific wings. Oops. I'll take that. Use that for some EMC. So, yeah. So I'll probably do more. I just thought I'd throw this out there. I've, I've actually been working on my other server, trying to prepare for the 1.3 villager training on that too. So I've actually spent a little bit too much time over here when I was just going to do this kind of a, a small let's play. But then I started getting into a lot of stuff. So, oh, almost took off flying through there, didn't I? So once I once I finish the flower, you know I can cover the top up with dirt, and it doesn't have to be 
since the glowstone is used uh, pr producing the light for it, you don't have to have it. So it, the top of the pipes would be just sticking out, and it's going to run the diamonds to the uh, to the chest here, which I've got 18, and over here nine. So yeah, almost finishing this flower up. So. I hope everybody likes what I'm doing here, but if not, you know, I just won't record anymore and just keep to my other Let's Play, but, alright, uh, comment and suggestions, thumbs up, subscriptions, all that's good, and I will uh, talk to you guys later, thanks.